This is where it can get a little tricky. You see where the words global, mastermind, edge, and just another word press blog, which I'm going to change. But I don't want to remove these from the blog settings because this is good for SEO and for search options. But I don't want them to show over the top of my header. So with the flex options, we're going to go to the we're going to go to our back office. We're going to scroll down and we're going to go to the editor first. And over here, we're going to the header.php. This is where you really want to be careful. So the first thing I always recommend is you do control A within this and you want to control C or copy this to a notepad file. So in case you do mess up, you still have the original. Always use Notepad, don't use Microsoft Office or WordPad. Now, what you're looking for, because what we want to do is hide those words, Global Mastermind Edge and just another WordPress blog, which we're going to change, is you're looking for the words that say this. Okay, so what I usually do, and I'll put this in the file too for training. What I usually do is I just I just kind of copy something like this, and I'll do Control C. I'm going to come back down here. I'm going to Control here. Of course, my I'm going to do Control F and pull up my Find button. You can't really see it, but I am looking for it. I'm going to paste that in there, and it's going to show. So here we are. It found it for us. It's right here. Okay. Now I don't want to change that, right? But from here to this paragraph symbol, I want to paste this code, and I'm going to give you this code right here. I want to paste this code right here. I'm going to explain what it does. It says text indent minus 9999px pixels and tagline indent. It's still there. Google can still find it, but we don't want it to show over our header. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go find this place again here in my blog back office. And from here down to here, I'm going to paste that code. I'm going to paste that code. I'm going to scroll down. And remember, I saved it just in case something happens. And I'm going to click the update tag. Now, if it all worked well, when I reload my tab, see, that's all gone. And it's still there for SEO and search purposes, but we didn't want it showing on our nice, beautiful header. So that's the training here. In the next video, I'll show you how to add some things to your footer, change the colors, as well as changing this if you want to. I'll show you how to do that as well. This is 